Picture this, a dusty, lawless town at the edge of China. The year 1987, a 43-year-old military engineer broke, humiliated, laid off from China's downsizing army, rents a tiny office in Shenzhen. His name is Ren Zhengfei. His mission, simple, survive. With just $5,600 and no products, no patents, and no allies, he founds Huawei. At first, Huawei isn't building anything. They're reselling imported phone switches. Customers laugh them out of meetings. Western giants like Motorola and Ericsson dominate the market, but where others copied, Huawei learned, and where others sold, Huawei built. Fast forward 30 years, and this tiny reseller had connected half the planet, dominated 5G, outpaced Apple in smartphones, and terrified the most powerful government on Earth. How did it happen? How did a company no one took seriously become so powerful that it triggered a new Cold War? The story isn't just about Huawei. It's about how technology itself became the ultimate weapon. At its peak, Huawei wasn't just another tech company. It was the world's largest telecom equipment maker. 